everyone, and welcome back to Senior and Living Today. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I hope you brought some friends with you. Today's topic is living situations. Economically, things have gotten really tough for people out there, and seniors become a target in every way for, you know, our purses, our wallets, our, you know, people stealing our cars, trying to get into our bank accounts, trying to get into our emails. People are trying to get over on us any way we can. So today we're talking about how they're trying to get over on us in living situations and how we can protect ourselves and protect, excuse me, and protect our homes. Because a lot of seniors and baby boomers either own their own home or they have their own place. And there's lots of people who don't, and so they want to take advantage of that. Um, many people don't have their own place to live, and so they're trying to figure out how they can come in and stay with you. So we need to set up a few guidelines to help them not do that. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you don't allow people to come and stay for an undefined amount of time. Um, and what I mean by that is you don't want people to come and say things like, I just want to stay with you till I get on my feet. I just want to stay with you until I find a job. Uh, can I just stay with you until I find a place? when their intention might be to never find a place because your place is perfect for them. So that's something that you want to watch out for, that undefined amount of time. Legally, in a lot of places, if people come to stay with you and they stay more than three days, they're considered a resident. So that's sort of where you want to start gauging how long is this person going to stay with me before you say yes or no. You want to not allow people to have the, their mail delivered to your house if you're not letting them live there. They need to have that mail go to someone else's house or they need to get a post office box. But if they're not living there, the mail should not come to your home as if they're a resident. 